All right, sorry this is late. Today, right now, is my Q&A, and I'm gonna try to do it somewhat quickly. Um, I'm really busy shooting a, uh, I'm really busy shooting a Red Bull Art of Motion submission right now. Um, another one, I know. But I'm gonna just try to answer, I'm gonna pick my 10, my top 10 or 15 questions. Okay, sorry this is so rushed guys, but I said I'd do it. Um, first question that I will answer. Let's see. Okay, Tom Hoekflins asked, will you do anything else than vlogs? Um, Yes, I plan on doing all sorts of stuff in the future. I plan on filming a lot of just straight on parkour and free running videos, doing lots of collaborations um, and things like that. So I'm not gonna only do vlogs, but I'm gonna do vlogs as long as I possibly can. Okay, next question. Free running soundtracks asked, why haven't you and Kaylin gone to the For Love of Movement? I think that's what it's called. Uh, we're poor. Let's see. Okay, Nikos Chrissy Alglu. I am so sorry for not being able to pronounce your name. You might get that a lot. Um, okay, one. Will you ever do the t one? Will you ever do tutorials? Yes, I plan on actually doing filmmaking tutorials, so there's a little announcement there. I want to tell you guys what I think makes good parkour videos and how to do it. And I'm still getting good at that kind of stuff, so I figure the best way to learn is to teach. Alright, next up. Um, George Barron asked, what camera do you use for your vlogs? Right now, I've been rocking a Canon 70. In fact, here, let me grab it. This guy, this is my main setup right now. Um, I'm shooting this on my cell phone, but uh, it's a Canon 70 with a 10 to 18 millimeter lens, um, and I have a Rode video mic on it. And lately, I've been playing with the glide cam, and I'm wondering if I'm going to start vlogging with it a lot. Now might be a first. Otherwise than that, I have a Gorilla Pod on it. So, Rode Video Mic, Canon 70, 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Hope that answers your question. Um, let's see. Okay, Zachary White asked, how long have you been doing PK and free running, and have you tried to do any other sports before PK? Um, parkour and free running, I've been doing that. Well, parkour, I started in like 2011. You guys can add whatever the heck that is up. But I was just a kid playing around. Um, didn't really officially do it. Free running, about three years. But I'm, I guess I'm good with my creativity and flow. I lack lots of difficulty though. Um, I've just been so focused on filming the peoples around me and getting them in the places they need to be. So I haven't progressed too much myself, but in the past three months I've progressed way more than ever. Okay. Okay. Due to weird grammar, I'm going to say this what I think you mean, but the Moon City asked, why don't you make videos about yourself, um, wait, why don't you make videos of yourself doing parkour and free running, and why do you only film other people? Here's the thing, lately's been a super, super vital part of our free running careers and that main focus has been towards getting Kaylin to art of motion. We're really really focused on 
planning up to that, filming those things and everything. Um, and I've been just so busy filming, 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 filming. I plan on training a lot more as soon as things loosen up a little bit. I got one more submission I'm filming. Um, I've been doing some freelance gigs lately, so that's been making it a little bit more difficult. But I do plan on, I really wanna show you guys more of what I've got. Um, and it's easy to film people around me when they're so skilled. I'm definitely nowhere on the same level as Kaylin or Ronnie or anything like that. But I hope to make it there someday. All right. Jacob Munis asked, I hope I pronounced that right. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Let's see. Jacob, oh wait. Oh, another, okay, Jacob Munis. I'm asked, answering one more question. Um. What is your favorite trick to do? My favorite and my most comfortable flip, the Webster front flip. My favorite rail combos to do is Italian job, the safety reverse safety or a uh, uh, reverse lazy or lazy to reverse lazy. I spam them a little bit. I'm trying to get more variety. Um, all right. How long did you grow your hair? Says Jin Cinema three run. Now, does that answer your question? All right. Go Vlogs Parkour asked, are you going daily soon? I, darling, I really want to go daily. It's been really difficult lately, and I guess I don't have any proper excuse or explanation. I'm just, I'll just tell you what's up. I'm super busy filming a bunch of submissions. I'm editing the videos for them um, or look at it more like this it takes all day to shoot a vlog or even a small amount of time but it takes in between four to six hours to edit that vlog um, lately I've been shooting videos for other people so that takes four hours up to five or six days to shoot and then takes hours and hours of editing so it makes it a lot harder to do these vlogs. Airplane. Helicopter, airplane, whatever that is. Anyways, going daily right now is just a super big overload, but I direly want to do it. I want to do it so bad. I love vlogging. That's all I want to do sometimes. Um, yeah. So let's see. Okay, what is your favorite project, or what's your favorite project you've ever filmed so far? Also, I recently dislocated my knee and I can't train. How do I deal with not being able to train for excessive long periods of time? Thanks. Okay, Impact Parkour Studios asked that. So, my favorite project so far was probably Chan the Man. I really enjoyed they're really tough shoots. All these shoots are difficult. I'm not gonna lie. They're a blast though. Um, I would say that and then along with Kalen's Red Bull Art Emotion submission, it just turned out super super well. Um, even though it wasn't, even though it didn't have music, it just had its own rhythm to it and we, I feel like we did really really good on that video. And besides Chan the Man, which is probably our best cinematic editing type video. Um, I do want to get rid of a little bit more of a compilation feel in those. So there's that. Um, oh yeah, and your knee. Um, until you can do whatever you have to, to recover, well, let, let me rephrase that. Um, until you are done recovering to the point where you can start doing things again, I just recommend you watch tons of parkour videos, tons of tutorials, keep yourself motivated, keep yourself thinking about it often. Um, plan on what tricks you want to knock out as soon as you're done, like as soon as you're ready to go. And then 
whatever your doctor tells you, any exercises you can do with your knee and things like that to get it back up to speed um, is the best way. I wasn't perfect with this with my my foot. I wish I had a, more of a push or a drive back then, but now I have a bigger push and I rolled my ankle again recently and I've been able to recover from that really, really quick. Um, my friend Dane said, it's always best to come out with your injury or come out it's always to come out stronger from your injury than you were previously before you injured it so strengthen that bad boy up do everything you need to do eat whatever way that helps it hope that helps you okay I'm gonna do two more questions okay I recent or critical hits X um, recently I recently started watching you but have you ever had any serious injuries um the only serious somewhat serious injury was my first time I rolled my ankle doing park or I was doing a Webster front flip I had really bad shoes that my heel would slide in a lot not adding up to a good sign um, and another thing what or what happened was I landed one foot on the mat I was doing a Webster front flip onto and then the other foot landed kind of at an angle off the mat and it kind of just rolled out and then my heel slipped inside my shoe and made it so much worse I've got different shoes on um, I don't know who asked this what shoes are you using I'm using Onitsuka Tigers Ultimate 81s and I do recommend them but there are definitely more options for your type of foot and the way you move um okay so last question who will it be by the way guys sorry if I couldn't get to all of you I think there was like 327 comments after I went starting this Q&A. So I'm just, I'm literally gonna go somewhere random and see if there's something. If it wasn't for parkour, what would you be doing? More like, um, well yeah, what would I be doing? I probably wouldn't have very much motivation. I Maybe I would have found something else, but I can't see anything else. Um, I would not have such a strong, or I wouldn't have such a strong friendship and relationship with the people around me and YGT Free Running, my team that me and Kalen founded, um, along with a couple other people. Um, I've made some lifelong friends and I've made some life-changing experiences. So where would I be without all of that? Probably just some lonely gamer kid with some really nice gaming PC doing nothing with their life. Um, of course, there's a lot more to it than that, but that's the best I can answer with the time I've got. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this q and A. I'm going to make this much more higher quality um, another time, and I'm going to do it in a time I'm less rushed. I'm mainly doing this Q&A because it might be a couple days before I'm able to post another vlog um, because I'm so busy with Dane's Red Bull Art of Motion submission. Um, so anyways, I literally got to get back to filming that. I hope you guys have an excellent day. I got to edit this in like 30 minutes while Dane gets the balls to check this congainer. Anyways, you guys have a good one. I love you. Stay awesome.